Hey guys, Elog Plays here, bringing you guys another video. Today is going to be Top Titans 2, part 212. I hope everyone is having an absolutely fantastic day today. Today is going to be our only preparation day. Tomorrow there will be a tournament and we will be participating in it. And tomorrow is the crafting short tournament. Guys, I am so pumped for this tournament because we are going to be finishing the Ruthless Necromancer set. And this isn't just like... Uh, I guess this is more than just finishing Ruthless Necromancer because as you guys know, just not too long, I think probably two episodes ago, um, we actually ended up purchasing the Black Knight set, which increases our splash count. So we can't actually splash without Ruthless Necromancer. So basically, once we get Ruthless Necromancer, we're going to be splashing even more than we normally would just from buying it. So right now, we basically have a legendary set that isn't doing much for us. And as soon as we get Ruthless Necromancer, we are going to be having that one, uh, you know, help us as well. So if we take a look at the legendary, so right now we're not getting this plus four base max splash count because we can't splash right now. So this is going to be a huge, huge thing. Um, as soon as we finish Ruthless Necromancer, it's actually going to feel better than what it would be just to have Ruthless Necromancer. It's basically like half of having Angelic Guardian because Angelic Guardian gives an eight plus base uh, max splash count. We're getting a four from Black Knight, which is just insane considering we only spent like 3,100 diamonds on it. Um, and I'm really only spending my diamonds now on equipment sets. So I'm really, really happy with that. I'm really glad we bought it. And I think it was a very, very good decision. And I'm really happy now that, you know, we've only been spending our diamonds on uh, equipment sets. So as you can see, we're at 1610 diamonds at the moment. We've only been spending them on equipment sets, which is something that had been a little difficult for me to do because I went from buying, you know, every single pet, almost almost every single pet in the shop um, every time it came in to, you know, now buying absolutely none and only getting pet levels from doing the pet quest which is a really really slow way to get pet levels but let's go ahead and take a look here at the pet quest here uh let's, we got some fluffers cosmos xp i believe fluffers actually just did, got a level up there which is great uh football 16 taffy 16 we also got demos there we also have a five star rare one that we can actually set out getting us how much 17 pet xp which is actually really nice Let's go and send out Phobos there, which is going to do us uh, quite a bit there. As you can see, we got four stars, two stars, three stars. We got a five star there. You guys missed yesterday's video where we got a legendary one and we unfortunately had to turn it down. Such a, such a sad time. But our Book of Shadows is actually doing pretty good. It's currently, at, well, it shows 70.9%, but we actually got it up to 80% and we've just been banking relics ever since. So I'm really happy with it so far, to be honest with you. 80% was something I was like, ah, do I go a little bit further or do I not? I didn't, I decided to go ahead and just wait and bank relics because I found it to be so useful last time, last tournament, uh, when we only had probably about, or no, it wasn't the last tournament, it was the tournament before, the first one that I tried it. We, we, we went so far. We did so good. We pushed like five, 600 stages right off the bat, right out the gate, just from doing one optimizer. It was absolutely awesome. It was such a good time. It was perfect. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into today's video here. I feel like I've just been rambling on for the last three minutes. Uh, we've got two pets there, which is going to come in really handy because we still need one more to go ahead and cl uh, collect that or finish that daily achievement. Uh, let me make sure. I don't know why. Oh, collect three pet levels. I guess we collected one already today. I guess so. Uh, we got that one done. We're going to go and take a look at our daily reward. Day nine is going to be equipment pieces. You guys did miss me see. Or you guys missed yesterday's daily reward, which was 50 diamonds. But we're still getting equipment piece plus 25 crimson vials. And we got a legendary. The anniversary armor. If I'm not mistaken, we are missing one piece. And it does look like it popped up there. So I believe it's only going to cost us 800 diamonds to finish that. But we will have to go ahead and take a look. I want to make sure we're still pushing here. I don't know why we're not. Let's uh, go and do some upgrades there. Absolutely insane, you guys. So we did get uh, Chesterson Gold. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It is actually better than the one we currently have equipped. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and equip that one and uh, sell that one for 25 diamonds. I'm so excited about that. That is insane. If we go and take, uh, we're going to go and take a look here as soon as we can activate that. 800 diamonds to get the helmet if we go ahead and take a look here at I, I really wish we could do it during the tournament but unfortunately the tournament is like 23 hours away so it would be gone if we waited um but anniversary gold here all gold and all damage so for only 800 diamonds you know what we're gonna go ahead and finish this one i'm really really excited 800 diamonds there we go uh, we finished another legendary set this is crazy this is the second legendary set that we finished since we've said we're going to save up all of our diamonds just to finish legendary sets, which is uh, really awesome. I'm glad I'm doing that. Actually, our third one, our third one, we did Black Knight and we did Anniversary Gold and we also did this Titan Attacker one. Um, so 169 compared to 171, so a pretty big increase there. That was non-boss damage. This is boss gold and all damage. So 
really really good one there i'm really happy with that so we're gonna collect the rest of our equipment pieces there we go just get in a rare i'm okay with that though considering we just got a legendary which is just so so hype uh we got a 191 all damage there uh so that's actually our only all damage so we may as well actually keep that for the time being uh we got all gold 175 all gold um so it is actually a little bit worse than the one we currently have and 176 boss gold is a little bit worse than the one we currently have here we also got a heavenly strike i just don't care about heavenly strike at the moment um so let's go ahead and do that and we will go ahead and do a prestige here uh 10 vials there we're gonna go ahead and do this really close to our max age about like 400 stages away from our max so we got fairly close i've been trying to do that i've been haven't been going to my max stage uh, but i've definitely been going over the uh minimum amount to get the vials so i've been kind of doing a little bit of both farming vials and farming relics as well because like i said i want to do artifact optimizers as soon as the tournament goes live so obviously you can't really do that or can't do a good one with only going to the 97.5 percent of your max stage which is the minimal requirement to get the vials you really won't be getting any relics at that point if it honestly i think if anything like we're going up like maybe half a percent it's not even i don't even think it's half a percent when we uh, go to the vial minimum stage it's very very low and i would not recommend doing that unless you are just willing to throw away this tournament and not bank any relics and just go for vials which i wouldn't recommend doing either uh, but here what else do we have to do upgrade one artifact so we'll go ahead and do let's just do book of shadows 25 percent um so getting it up to 71 percent so not a big deal we only spent a little very very little amount of relics there uh, 25 is actually a decent amount but it, it's not that much we've done quite a few banked runs i think we've this would probably be our seventh banked run i think like i said not going all the way to our max stage but going fairly close until it slows down and then it's just not worth it um so 60 vials here 30 diamonds and six ray tickets putting us over 3,000 vials you guys i did try to get it um, i was trying to get it so we would actually roll over 3,000 vials in today's video and as you can see we did so this is even before doing our raid attacks we're gonna go and claim these last rewards 10 crafting shards here 50 diamonds as well as 250 more diamonds we just got 300 diamonds there almost getting well not quite paying for half but almost half of what we just spent on the legendary set so already at well above 1100 diamonds which is nice and one more equipment piece an event equipment piece so absolutely hype there we just did i got a ton more damage or a ton more vials there currently sitting at 91.46 percent but because not a lot of people are into the percentages, I mean, we're going to drop percentages like crazy. So if we're at 91.46, uh, let's go ahead and do a couple rate attacks and see how much that actually drops. So just remember 91.4% uh, there. So we're going to go and do our best deck here. I believe we, I just did a rate attack earlier today. I believe we did 1.69 million damage with this deck. Absolutely insane. It's it's such a good deck here. This is definitely by, by far my favorite deck um to use for sure it just does so much damage and it's so easy to use you know you could really use this on any part as long as you're willing to go ahead and you know make sure you can hit all of those fairies that's that's the biggest thing that's the only thing you really need to worry about like i said you can do it on an arm you can do it on a leg you can do it on a torso you can literally do it on any part there's it's not like you have like psychic chain or something where you want to activate it on the limb 1.63 million so i think we if we would have got that last fairy or something like that we would have been closer but 600 taps absolutely amazing there i don't think after getting just five vials it's really going to make that much of a difference or even if it updates uh but we're at 90 point 91.4 percent so we dropped 1.5 percent with five vials you guys so absolutely insane i didn't think it actually dropped that much um so uh, that is absolutely insane almost 1.5 percent with, with five vials that is absolutely insane so we definitely can start seeing we're gonna start seeing our vials apps or the percentage absolutely tank which is exactly what we want to see right now um so really really excited for that uh for this one we're gonna go and attack the left shoulder there let's go ahead and do it with this i am actually you know what i don't i didn't know if i was gonna go and do some upgrades here but i think we're gonna we do have lots of dust so and we're going to go into a thousand upgrade there and as well as a 1350 upgrade there this is going to be such a killer deck now i can't wait to see the kind of damage we're going to be doing now i want to make sure we hit all 600 taps um just to see how much damage we could really do i guess i don't have the best like baseline um what we could do what i've seen before yeah i don't really have a good baseline to be honest with you it's been anywhere from 1.1 to 1.06 1.1 i think was maybe the highest maybe we got to 1.2 i really don't know honestly i don't have a good baseline like i said if you guys remember from other episodes leave a comment down below letting me know what we got with this deck before 
but i'm curious to see after spending like what 2350 dust on this deck how much it improves 1.33 so i'd say at a minimum that was a hundred thousand damage increase i'd say at a bare minimum if we were at 2.23 or you know even 2.2 so like a 1.3 or 130,000 damage increase is definitely a lot for sure putting us now uh didn't update yet so we'll go ahead and wait for it to update if we get 15 uh, vials here from just a fairy drop as well uh, that's gonna greatly reduce this uh, but I'll go and make sure we're doing all of our raid attacks. I have done all of them so far. Uh, we obviously have two more left, but I've been keeping up with them because I have been kind of sweating for these vials. As you can see, uh, 12 attacks total. We've done 10 out of 12 for 12.12 million damage. Absolutely insane. We're going to go and attack. Uh, take down here on the torso. Let's see. Some people have already attacked this. Uh, but yeah, this deck is a little, it's okay it's about um just over a million damage i'd say under 1.1 but I, i'm gonna say 1.05 million i'm gonna guess for this deck um it's okay like i said but it's nothing crazy it's not like our first two decks where you know 1.3 plus you know the, our one deck we can even reach up to 1.7 at times our last deck we just got 1.33 which is really good I, I bet you this is in between 1 million and 1.1 uh, million so let's go and take a look our fourth deck is not nearly as good but 1 million on the dot so it's okay it's a pretty good deck um but yeah definitely not our best one by any means for sure but there we go now maybe it's updated 89.85 percent absolutely insane guys with that being said i'm gonna have to go and end today's video here if you guys have enjoyed another top titans 2 video be sure to go and smash the like button and subscribe because so if there's any more daily content i will catch you guys in tomorrow's video peace out